tonight, we confront a stark reality in Israeli politics. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is a figure that has dominated the country's political landscape for years now and is facing a plethora of serious corruption charges, ranging from fraud, breach of trust and bribery. In its ruling, the Jerusalem District Court has mandated Netanyahu to begin his testimony against such cases by the end of this year, despite attempts to delay this under the pretext of the ongoing war against Hamas. Our next report telling you more. The Jerusalem District Court has ordered Netanyahu to begin his testimony on December 2, 2024. This decision comes despite Netanyahu's request to delay his testimony until March 2025, citing the ongoing war against Hamas. His defense attorney, Amit Haddad, argued that the conflict makes it nearly impossible to prepare the prime minister adequately. They claim that the ongoing tumultuous conditions hinder their ability to sit down, ask questions and receive feedback from Netanyahu. The judges acknowledge the challenges posed by the war but emphasize the public interest in advancing the case. They ruled that Netanyahu could reasonably prepare by the end of this year. The state attorney's office had earlier opposed Netanyahu's request for a delay, demanding his testimony start no later than November 1st. Netanyahu is embroiled in several cases, Case 1000, Case 2000 and Case 4000. Case 4000, often referred to as the Bezekwala case, involves allegations that Netanyahu made regulatory decisions benefiting Bezek, a telecommunications giant, to the tune of hundreds of millions of shekels. In return, he allegedly received favorable media coverage from the Walla News site, which is owned by Bezek's major shareholder. Case 2000 is centered on accusations that Netanyahu sought positive media coverage from Yedioth Aronot, a leading Israeli newspaper, in exchange for curtailing its competitor, Israel Hayom. In Case 1000, the charges revolve around Netanyahu allegedly accepting expensive gifts from billionaire benefactors, raising serious questions about conflict of interest and ethical breaches. So far, court proceedings have mainly involved the cross-examination of prosecution witnesses. This phase is expected to conclude soon, after which Netanyahu will face cross-examination as the main defendant for up to two months. This will be a pivotal moment in the trial, offering the public a rare glimpse into his defense strategy. The stakes couldn't be higher. Netanyahu's testimony will be scrutinized not just by the court, but by the Israeli public that's deeply divided over his leadership and these allegations. Regardless of the outcome, Netanyahu's leadership has long been polarizing and his legal battles add yet another layer of division. As the nation watches closely, the court's firm stance against delay tactics is a reminder that accountability is not optional, even for the highest offices. Bureau Report, we on World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.